Brandon and Kristen, if your faith makes you ready to receive this sacrament of matrimony, if you're ready for your relationship to be transformed into something spousal, if you're ready to have this new capacity to love each other heroically, I invite you and your wedding party to join me at the altar of God. Oh my God, you look beautiful. (laughs) Brandon and Kristen, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends. As today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this, your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Such a lovely evening getting to see you guys, your families, all your friends come together to celebrate you guys and the love that you have for each other. Brandon, we've really enjoyed getting to know you. Marsha and Troy, thank you for raising such a great son. And thank you for taking Kristen in, welcoming her into your family. And Brandon, welcome, welcome into our family. Um, I think what Brandon loves doing with our family most is playing pitch. I think we taught him how to play pitch. And he's not the worst pitch player in the world, but he better hope the worst doesn't die or he's right there. Kristen has always been a queen and had high standards, rightfully so. This is a girl who once told a literal frog and put him in his place by telling him, and I quote, I will not be treated like on the shelf deli meat. I'm a filet. When Kristen started dating Brandon, we didn't necessarily know he was the one, but it was clear that he made her happy and that he wasn't afraid to beat her and the rest of the family in pitch, because he's not quite as bad as dad said. (laughs) Enter Brandon, a literal king who treats her like the Japanese A5 Wagyu that she is. that God planned our family pretty well uh, by bringing all three of us kids together from different families through adoption. And we are very glad that now he has brought Brandon into it as well. And he seems to be a pretty good addition so far. From the moment that we ever heard about Brandon, we could tell that Kristen was smitten and truly just so, so happy. Brandon has exceeded every expectation we had for Kristen and her future husband. We cannot wait to watch them continue to grow as a couple and build a beautiful life together. Congratulations. You guys, uh, you look beautiful. Um, I'm just so happy for you. We're, we're proud of what you've accomplished so far in life. I love you. You look beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. When you get in those tough spots, which you may have, turn to each other and turn to God. And uh, you guys will do well. Kristen received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brandon received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's my privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. So.
Since you two are making everything official today, we would like to make something official too. We would like to file for joint custody and we will be seeing you on the honeymoon. When I fall to pieces, you me back together. Months and months went by and Kristen was around more and more. Brandon was over hanging out at our house one day and he was making plans to take Kristen to a Valentine's Day dinner date. And he uh, asked some of us for some advice on what to do. And as you can tell, it went well. And the rest speaks for itself. We're all here tonight to celebrate these two. Kristen and Brandon, I love you both, and I am so very happy to have witnessed the beginning of your marriage and to watch you start the rest of your lives together. Take me in the moonlight, take me to your room, I transcend with